So I would love to say I, I read every book of every guest on the show. I watch every movie. I really think it's important to, yes. to do my work so you can feel comfortable. I did not finish this book because this is not the kind of book that you read in the night. You cannot. I mean, I got through like 20 pages and I'm saying, hold on a minute, man. Let me yeah. just try to understand what's going on. This is heavy. Did anything strike you in there, like um, in the first 20 pages? Well, I, as I flipped through it, toward the end, you asked people what to define the soul. Yeah. And you asked musicians and philosophers and all of these different people. And I was fascinated with all of the different definitions that people had about the soul. I was yeah. also fascinated with the photographs, which are a perfect juxtaposition to this broad philosophical outlook you have. And then you have like a picture of a leaf. Yes. And that, that's what it is, though. That's the magic of, of trying to do both of those things at once that you've yeah. done so beautifully with you, this. You know, I can get as much joy, and this is how you, you, you know you've arrived at a good space in your life, because I can get as truly, I could start weeping right now over uh, you know, walking on my, my property and finding just a little teeny tiny baby leaf that just opened its, you know, uh, bud. Has you, have you always been like that? Or, or is this something that you grew into? I think that growing up in Mississippi, I think the Southern upbringing, anybody here from the South, I think Southern upbringing really has its, um, it, it, it has its roots in me. And so being raised in the church and being raised with a certain kind of value system, I never lost that. 